So the thoracic spine is made up of joints. You have a joint on the left and a joint on the right, like any other joint in the body. Uh, when you rotate, as in a throwing athlete, say a right-handed athlete, creates a rotation to the right. These joints have to be able to rotate as well. If they're not rotating well, you essentially have a block causing the issues we talked about before. So you need to have healthy motion joints. Thoracic spine is made for mobility, lumbar spine made for stability. Okay? To increase this motion, let's say you have an athlete and you find this issue. Um, foam rollers are great tools to use. Uh, ro rotation on the foam roller, laying on the foam roller, ro rolling back and forth. Also, very simple exercise that I use with all my patients. Bring their hands straight out in the air. Lock their shoulder blades down and in. In this rigid motion, just raise up until the arms are beyond the eye line. What this does is it forces one stability in the lumbar spine, but as the shoulders come up, it forces the thoracic spine to extend. When you lock down the scapula or the shoulder blades in that down and in position, that puts them in the optimal stability position. It also relaxes the upper traps where a lot of people have a lot of tension. So if you do this, again, this isn't an endurance muscle, so it's not a one set of 10, it's not a two set of 10. You do this until they fatigue. So you can't put an arbitrary number on this. And what you want them to feel is specifically in this upper thoracic spine area. You feel that burning sensation, like they're working. As that's happening, these joints are moving back and extending, which is the same motion that happens when you rotate.